educators in Santa Clara County say it is too soon to reopen schools. As KPIX 5's Devin Feely reports, many are voicing their frustrations outside of the superintendent's home. The protesters accuse the Santa Clara County Board of Education of rushing its reopening plan and not providing them with the appropriate safety protocols. Protesters blared their disapproval as they caravan past the Santa Clara County Superintendent of Education's home. They accused the county of being out of touch and inattentive to the needs of the special education students they serve. We all want what is best for the children. No one disputes the importance of our programs even in difficult times. However, we cannot serve our community unless the county office serves us by providing us with what we need. The County Board of Education is reopened with a mix of in-person instruction and online learning, and both parents and educators say pose unique challenges for special ed students. The expectation that children will socially distance themselves is both ignorant um, and arrogant. It shows that COE administration is too distant um, to understand the needs of the children they serve. Across the Bay Area, education has become one of the fault lines often dividing communities, with parents clamoring for a return to in-person instruction, while educators have pushed back, questioning the safety and the wisdom of moving away from online learning right now. And with cases spiking and new lockdowns being imposed, protesters say they want to make sure they have the right protective equipment, the right plan and training before moving more students back into the classroom. I would much rather be telecommuting and helping with distance learning than being forced to take leave if I don't want to put myself or my family at risk by working on site. The honking horns and blaring cars did bring out several curious neighbors. The superintendent was not among them. In Los Altos Hills, Devin Feely, KPIX 5. San Jose Unified is delaying its January 5th reopening. The district plans to reopen when the county returns to the orange tier.